Hey guys, welcome to another review. Um, today we are reviewing a Bachmann Great Western Well Wagon. Um, now this wagon uh, has been looked at on the channel before. Uh, again, it was like my second video or something. Um, and I thought it should uh, get a review with the new camera. Um, so, well, you know, in HD format anyway. So, anyway, here we go. Um, standard Bachmann uh, ice tray block thing, cube, whatever. Uh, packaging and you've got Buckman branch line model railways there and along the bottom and things back you've just got you know that normal stuff that you get on the back of Buckman boxes so we'll look at the end it is the code name or the code number is 33-900E bogey well wagon GWR dark grey and I picked this up at oh goodness it was Railex 2012. Um, gee, that seems like ages ago well, it was, but you know. Um, so yeah, I picked this up at Railex 2012, and um, it has been a fine performer on the layout ever since. Um, now this is the only thing that bugs me a bit, is for this wagon, why didn't they put a top bit in the packaging? I mean, that's a bit silly really, isn't it? But I have thought about it, you know, it could have been for a load or something, but you know... I don't really, it's a bit silly, but, oh well, the wagon detail sure makes up for it though. Um, so, yeah, you just got this flimsy little tray thing. It's, um, I mean, yes, I mean, it holds the, the wagon in perfectly fine, but, you know. So, yeah, here we go with the model. You've got lovely bogey detail in uh, there. For all the rivet counters out there, there's a lovely amount of rivets for you to count. So um, feel free to pause and count if you so desire. Um, you got the number I imagine, which is four one nine seven four, and here we go into the sort of the well bit and G W, and then can it, folks, to carry forty five tons when load distributed, half its uh, uh, capacity when loaded centrally. Okay, thank you for that information. I will totally keep that on board. Um, <laughs> no one. Uh, so, I don't know why it says crocodile there. Maybe it's a really scary wagon. Hmm, who knows. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, well, I hope I'm just kidding. But yeah, so, tier 23-14, and I don't think I can, um, focus in on that detail. Return to GWR hot common user. What? What is that? I have absolutely no idea. So, um, now this is very nice detail, the sort of the wooden planks. I, I quite like that. Um, and again, all the rivets along the um, the body uh, and the frame. And then you've got, again, nice detail under here. Buckman China. Well, it's not Buckman China, it's Buckman uh, Branch Line, but it's made in China. Um, and this is what surprised me a bit, was the bogies. Not NEM couplings, which is a bit odd. They're sort of like the screw ones, which you can unscrew and then uh, replace with a KD or whatever. So, And, of course, metal spoked wheels. Uh, those are three spokes, yes. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it's a great model. Uh, as you can see, I've just noticed that it's got slimline couplings. I haven't just noticed it. It's just I didn't point it out before. And you've got a nice hook on the front what the front oh goodness I'm tired but the um the buffer beam there and then you've got some buffers uh which are plastic and not sprung um looking at the other side it's basically the same everything is the same um so uh you know now I have a question what could I put on this wagon guys um I don't really know what load to put on it um, other than, I don't know, a plane or a, or a something, but I, I thought maybe, um, after what, seeing some pictures and some videos, maybe, I don't know, a, um, a traction engine maybe, I don't know, a steamroller, maybe a, or, you know, or a vehicle of some sort, but, um, yeah, so, because I don't want this running around the layout empty, um, you know, it's it's a perfectly nice wagon, and, um, you know, I don't want it just rolling around lightweight. 
So, um, yeah, it's, uh, so what should I put on this wagon, guys? And you suggest it, and I will most likely get it in about 10 years. Um, but, you know, it's, yeah, it's just a really nice wagon. So, um, that rounds off the review today. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Like me on Facebook as Cruisy Road Model Railway. And as always, guys, see you later.